All right, Dylan, thanks for reaching out, man. These are kind of tricky problems, no question. Two variables, much, much easier, right? And so all of these are kind of in some kind of form where we can get rid of a variable relatively easily, but sometimes it's hard to see it, of course. It just takes experience. And so let's, I chose a couple from your self-check. Let's go ahead and look at them. So this first equation, let me just write them out here so they're a little bigger. X plus Y plus Z equals 4. What do we got? X plus Z equals negative 4. I'm just going to write them out there so the variables are all lined up. And we also have Y plus Z equals negative 3. Sometimes it helps maybe even to label your equations, okay? So first equation, second equation, third equation. Now, there's a couple ways I see that we could tackle this pretty quickly. <clears throat> so in this first equation, of course, we've got all three variables. Notice the next one, x plus z. Well, those match that previous one. So what if I did this? What if I took my original equation? And I took my second equation. And for that second equation, what if I just multiplied? I'll show it this way to show what I'm doing. What if I multiplied negative 1 through the whole thing? Well, that would give me negative, negative, and positive, right? Now let's just add those two equations together. Watch what happens. x minus x goes away. y plus nothing. z minus z. 4 plus 4. Hey, just like that, I know that y equals 8. Now, once I know one of the variables, I'm in business, right? It's just plugging it back in. I think you feel good about that. So if y was 8, I could look at my third equation. 8 plus what equals negative 3. And so z is negative 11. Again, once I know those, I can go to either one of these other equations, and I'm in business. Okay, so I hope that makes sense, Dylan. Let's look at this other one. This one's not quite as nice, but also not too bad. So again, let me just write them out here. x plus y equals 6, negative y plus 6z equals 26. I guess I could have left room there for my 0z. x plus 13z equals 53, OK? So again, we want to get rid of a variable somehow. Again, maybe I'll just label. So first, second, third. What if I add my first two equations together? So if I add my first two equations together, I notice that my y values will go away. So let's do that, okay? So I'm gonna do one plus two. So x plus y equals six, negative y plus six z equals 26, right? And again, Dylan, what I'm showing, it's not like the way it's just what I see. There's different ways to tackle these problems. So if you see a different approach sometimes, take it, man. Okay, but let's combine these. So x, my y goes away, plus 6z equals, what we got? 6 plus 26, 32. Now at this point, you may be saying, well, how did that help us, right? I've still got two variables. But now, let's go back up here. I have my third equation, which is x plus 13z equals 53. And I have a new equation I created by combining 1 and 2, which is x plus 6z equals 32. Can you see where I'm going here? Can you see what I'm going to do? So let's multiply negative 1 through this bottom one. Or basically, we're subtracting it from the top one. So negative, negative, negative. x minus x goes away. I just got rid of a variable. 7z equals 21. Divide that 7 over. A z equals 3. And again, I think once you get one variable, you're in good shape, right? We just go substitute it here. Boom, we've got our x. Go up here. Boom, we've got our y. We're in good shape, okay? So Dylan, I hope that helps. Again, I, I maybe make that look easy. I've got a lot of experience solving math problems. But look for patterns. Look for something. How can I combine these? Get rid of a variable. Hey, that's our goal so we can keep moving forward, okay?